guys, welcome back to another day of working on the blue truck. Today, what we will be doing is uh, we'll be removing the valve covers because they're pretty dirty and I wanted to get them nice and clean. In fact, they were so dirty, I didn't even realize I had Edelbrock valve covers. So I'm pretty sure if I shine them up, they'll look pretty good. And the other thing I will be replacing is also, I'm having a little bit issues on the gear switching. It's not very accurate and I've already tried adjusting it. And I look down there, it looked pretty old and also there's oil all over it. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out with the brand new one and uh, hopefully it's a pretty easy adjustment and uh, go from there. So for now, we'll get started on the valve covers. I'll show you here what I got. All right guys, let's see what's in this package. Oh yeah. All right guys, so there you see it. We have two valve cover gaskets that we're about to replace and also in the process again, we're gonna go ahead and clean those valve covers as clean as we can. We'll see how that goes. So keep watching guys. So we'll be removing the uh, passenger side valve cover first because that one seems to be a little harder. As you can see, there's a bunch of wiring on this side and uh, well, that's pretty much it. Maybe a couple hoses, but those aren't too much in the way. And then we'll move on to this side. Now guys, I actually already water hose this side. Why? Because there is a bunch of rat poop there between the lines and I don't see any anymore because I watered it pretty good. But I did not know that, oh wait, I think there's one there. Yeah, I believe so. Right there, guys, right there. Anywho, all of this was covered in rat poop. So um, not on me, guys, this truck, like I said, was sitting for a while, wasn't being used. So uh, now it's my turn to uh, take care of it. So in the process, looks like it's just pretty much four simple bolts. One here, two, three, and then four at the end. And this should come right out. Hopefully we don't have any issues and uh, go from there. The only thing that's connected to this side valve cover is uh, pretty much this hose here, which we're gonna leave alone. It shouldn't be an issue when we take it out. See, we got one side done. It actually looks pretty clean in there. I was really surprised how clean that looks. Um, I was really expecting to see pretty uh, nasty oil stains, but uh, this is pretty darn good for, for a truck that's been sitting for a while. I'll show you the valve cover. So we're gonna remove this, and again, we're gonna clean this thing pretty good. As you can see, um, I'll show you the other. As you can see, I had no idea these were Edelbrock uh, valve covers. So I'm gonna try my best to clean these as clean as I can to uh, put back in there and start making it look a little nicer in the uh, engine compartment. So there's the passenger side, guys. It's uh, It came out pretty shiny. So as I was putting it back on, guys, I kind of wish that I actually repainted the black part. Overall, guys, I'm really happy with what it looks like now. So next is the other side. As you can see, the big difference there. It's all nasty, and uh, you can definitely tell that it's pretty dirty. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this one off, make this thing look nice again.
So as you can see, I finally got this valve cover off. It turns out I was wrong. This side is actually a little harder. In order to get that valve cover out, there's this bracket here that's actually in the way for this valve cover to go up on. So all I had to do was pivot this uh, alternator back and uh, I was able to um, get that valve cover out. So we got the other valve cover here. As you can see, it's pretty dirty, just like the other one I just did. So I'm gonna go ahead and scrub this one up like I did the last one and then carry on to the uh, Scotch Brights process and should get this bad boy pretty clean like the other one. Finally finished, got the uh, both valve covers back on and all the uh, accessories around it. So it, all in all, it came out good. Uh, it's a lot better than what it was. I kind of wish that I took the time to paint the black back on there, but it's okay. The next thing we're gonna do is replace the uh, neutral safety switch. It goes right on the left side of the transmission, driver's side. First, I'm gonna have to jack the truck back up because remember, it's pretty low, so anytime I gotta work on it, unfortunately, I gotta raise it up. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and take it from there. Okay guys, like I said before, uh, the problem was that every time I switched the gears, they were inaccurate. So if the transmission was actually in reverse, uh, the gear indicator would show that it would be in neutral. Same thing with neutral. If I was actually in neutral, it would actually show that I'm in drive. Sometimes it even gets stuck if I go back to park. So the other issue was when I put it in reverse, the reverse lights would not work. So now we're gonna check it. We are on reverse now. Neutral, drive, three, two. Two, three, drive, neutral, reverse, park. So now that we're good, we're gonna put it on reverse and check the back. Make sure that the uh, reverse lights are working. All right, so we're good. Valve covers got done and the neutral safety switch got done. So it was definitely worth the money. It was about 20 to $30 for the neutral safety switch and another 20 for the valve cover gaskets. But as I was driving, I heard a little ticking noise and I think one of the rockers are a little loose. So eventually I'm gonna take off the valve covers again and to see if I need to tighten anything under there. So, um, and plus while I'm there, I could probably repaint the black on the valve covers to uh, make it even more nicer. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Again, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that like. Enjoy watching these videos and see the updates I'm doing on the Chevy and, and all the other bike stuff that I have going on on the channel. So appreciate the support and I'll see you on the next video.